Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the one and only Underground Rising here on the Psycho Sim Project channel on YouTube. Today, I'm going to be um, reviewing a band called The Body Politic. Now, they've already had an album out a few years ago, but last year, late last year in fact, they released their new EP, which is here, it's called Egressa. And the band, as I said, is the body politic. And they describe themselves as a bit of a uh, progressive metal band. We shall see if that's true. This will be my first time hearing the band. Now some of you are wondering, who the hell are the body politic? Well, let me tell you. The body politic are a six-piece band hailing from Vancouver Island. And they can be best described as a six-piece powerhouse of polymetric grooves, aggressive screams and soaring vocal melodies, pushing the boundaries of modern metal music. They take their name from a Clive Barker short story and they used to be sort of more of a jazzy type band and they have now changed to a progressive metal style band. band released its debut album, All Too Human, back in 2011. As of September 16th last year, they released the EP I'm reviewing today, which is called Igressa. The first song on the album is called Vitam Ager and I have absolutely no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Not much so on this, this is more your sort of typical intro um, to help set up the listener for the coming onslaught of riffs and music. Um, this starts with a lone piano playing a slightly unsettling piece of music. The band joins in around the one minute mark playing a riff along with the piano. We then go into a nice Meshuga styled riff, all down tuned guitar and bass. All in all, a fantastic start to the EP. first song proper on the album is called Armature. Now this starts with a scream and a technical gent style riff. Then the metalcore metal style vocals kick in with occasional clean vocals bringing to mind the band We Came As Romans. The clean vocals take over for the chorus all with that awesome gent style riff in the background. All in all the song reminds me of British um, gent band Sick. In fact they're the band that along with Meshuga kind of get called the godfathers of gent metal. Um, but this band has a little bit more structure, a bit more sort of verse chorus structure to it. Which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong. Um, the superb solo that kicks in halfway along, halfway through the song to help break the song up. Then we break into silence until the comes, band comes kicking back in um, with another dizzying technical riff and back to the chugging heavy riff from the beginning of the song. There's a clean vocal sung, uh, the clean vocal, sorry, sing by themselves in the middle eight. Then the band kicks back in, um, we're backing up the clean vocals. Um, a scream of something more from the metalcore vocal vocals um, it takes us into the ending riff and to the end of the song. All in all, a fantastic track. My view of it, not so much, that was a little bit spotty, but anyway, we shall continue on. Up next is the song All Hands. Now this starts with a keyboard part with the drums kicking and the band joins in with another superb jazzy styled riff before the vocalist screams and we're back to the gent style from before. There's a nice use again of the varying between the heavy and the clean vocals on this song. Um, at the minute and a half mark we have a technical spiralling riff that then um, kicks in to superb effect. We break down to just a keyboard and a single guitar in the middle of the song, adding some ethereal sounds until the keyboard swells and the vocalists, vocalist, sorry, screams take us back into a very sick sounding riff. Um, this leads back into the clean vocals singing the chorus. The guitar solo at the middle eight takes us into the end of the song, which is done in superbly epic fashion. Track 4 is Swing for the Fences. Now this starts with crashing drums and guitars playing again in that gent style. Um, this band is very much a gent band to all intents and purposes. Um, clean vocals this time take the lead, um, backed up by just keyboard and drums, lending a nice sparse feel to the song. The whole heavy vocals kicking with the, heavy, the, with the entire band sorry, that takes us through to the chorus. A nice heavy chuggy riff then helps propel this song along at a fantastic mid-speed pace. Um, there's a heavy technical section in the middle full of technical riffs and superb use of again the changing vocal styles between the heavy screamy vocals and the more melodic sung vocals. The um, both bands are fantastic at what they uh, both sorry vocalists are fantastic at what they do. So I got a little bit um, 
distracted there by my phone going off. Anyway, clean vocals, sing the chorus again, which takes us through to the ending riff. Track 5 is another track that I'm probably going to pronounce the title of completely wrong, but I believe it's called Coquan. I do apologise to the band if I've completely messed up the uh, pronunciation of that. Now this starts with a drum roll, that then we're into a heavy as hell riff with the vocalist screaming his lungs out over the top again. This song contrasting between the heavy and the clean vocals, again used to superb effect. There's an epic sized chorus kicks in and then we're back to the heavy riff and vocals with the keyboard coming in too. At the middle eight we get a solo from the keyboard showcasing another side to this band's virtuosity. And um, bearing in mind the band did start as more of a jazz band. Um, but we break down to just piano and vocals in the background until the band kicks back in with another recital of the chorus which takes us through to the end of the song. The last song on the album is called Irradiate. Now this starts with a single clean guitar playing the melody. Then the band kicks in adding to the intensity of the song. We get a nice guitar solo to lead the way into the song proper when the clean vocals kick in. A nice catchy and jazzy riff kicks in, then we're into pounding drums and riffs topped off with the screaming vocals from before until the clean vocals at a main song riff begins again. At the middle eight we get a great Meshuggah styled riff with background keyboards helping add to the intensity of the overall song. Um, a spiralling riff, spiralling riff by a solo guitar takes us back into the chorus. A heavy as hell gent riff then takes to the end of the song in epic fashion. Now, I'm going to explain something. I know it looks like I keep looking away from the camera. Basically, I keep looking at my notes, which I have basically, pretty much, sorry, I keep saying basically, pretty much written on the computer, so I'm having to check them as I'm trying to describe the tracks to you. Anyway, that was it Radiate, and that brings us to the end of the song um, and the end of the EP. So what did I think? Find out in a moment. So, what did I make of the EP overall, the new EP called it Aggressor from The Body Politic? Honestly, it's my first time here in the band, and I need to just check out more. As I said um, in the intro, they've done a debut album, um, and the, the name has currently gone out of my head, but I'll definitely have to check that out. Um, it's essentially what you would get if you mix the best parts of Meshuggah and UK Band 6, and mix them with a bit of We Came As Romans with the superb, um, clean vocals in there as well definitely a band that deserved to get massive I hope they play in the UK at some point soon so I can maybe arrange some sort of interview with them, maybe even do it over Skype if they're interested and they watch this anyway, I have been Psycho Sin you can catch me on my radio show on www.totalmetalradio.com from 8pm GMT which is 3pm EST every Friday night and on Sundays you can catch me from 2pm EST, 7pm GMT, every Sunday. Hopefully I'll see you in the chat room then. As I said, I've been Psycho Sin. I'll be back soon with a review of the new album by The Dreaming. If you're wondering who The Dreaming are, they are the band that formed from the ashes of the absolutely awesome Stabbing Westward. I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.